What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol back with another video today. Hot Toys Nebula. After years and years of wait, it's time to open it up. Let's do it. Okay, here's the box. We've got Nebula right here with a giant Avengers in-game logo all over the front and obviously a beautiful portrait of, uh, of the actual figure, which is awesome. Super excited about this. This is something that I, I thought I wanted to pick up a while back, just never did. And uh, look at this, super glad I did. At least up from the box already looks good. I haven't seen the actual figure yet. We'll have to take a look at that in a second. Uh, but there we go, guys, MMS 534. Six scale collectible figure. And uh, on the side, we've got our nice uh, little Guardians logo and Avengers logo, Nebula right here on the side. Uh, the bottom just says Avengers Endgame. And then on the back, there's all the whodunits. If anybody wants to pause that and read all that stuff, you're more than welcome to. And then of course on the side, the other side, we've got Nebula and uh, Nebula. So pretty nice stuff. Let's take a look at the box. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a little, yeah, a little slide action. Let's just go ahead and see what we got. All right. Let's see what we got. We got a figure in a package. A little shoebox deal. Uh, so we got a Guardians logo there, Avengers logo at the bottom, a bunch of nice Avengers stuff going on the bottom, and then uh, more of the whodunit stuff. I think we should just go ahead and uh, open this figure up out of the box. Let me grab this. Let's see if we can't pop open this. This little deal right here. And uh, let's see what this figure looks like. Pretty excited about this. If you guys are as well, please let me know down below if you picked up this figure. Uh, I do not have the in-game Rocket or the Infinity War Star-Lord or Gamora yet, but I have been in talks with uh, Pop Collectibles to maybe be adding those to the collection soon. So let's see what we got. I don't think we're gonna get a ton of accessories here, but let's see what we got. And uh, come on plastic, let's go, let's go. Obviously, uh, supporting local shops is a good thing to do as well. And I, obviously, I, I saw this in the store, and it's like, ah, I kind of want. They literally just got this in like two days ago, and uh, now they no longer have it because I got it. Looks like we got a pile of accessories. Obviously, we got Gamora. Let's take a quick look at this portrait because that's that's what we're here to do. Let's see. Oh boy, look at that. That's crazy. Definitely looking forward to getting this into some cool poses. But right off the. Uh, the first inspection, guys, that port, what do you guys think? Like, just first impressions. Oh, super excited about it. All right, let's put that aside. Uh, we're gonna have some different items. I honestly don't even remember what the heck this is. I will have to check it out. Is this like this, the uh, the expandable stat, like, or I don't even remember. Honestly, don't remember. I really don't. We got a blaster. This is my first time looking at this. It is what it is. Uh, nice little blaster. I dig that. I like the weathering on that, so we'll take a closer look at that. We've got what appears to be a holster for that particular blaster. Uh, we get some hands. Looks like we get some regular blue hands, and then we're going to get some robotic hands. Uh, so those are nice. We'll take a look at those in a second. Robotic hand. Oh, we only get a couple of robotic hands. All right, those are hard. Like, that's it's a different style material. That's interesting. Uh, we got some effects, which honestly, uh, I don't know what the heck these are for. I won't be using these because I really don't use these anyways, but there they are. Uh, we got a couple of these things. We'll definitely be using these in some posing uh, very shortly, which I guess that is, that makes sense. Yeah, all right, so there we go. Yeah, anyways, that makes total sense what's going on there. And uh, this is what it's like, guys, unboxing something fresh. I have no idea. Um, nice little Avengers in-game uh, base and a crotch grabber. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I've, let me get all this plastic stuff off these figures, all the pieces, and uh, let's see what we can do with it. All right, so as I'm uh, taking all the little plastic bits off, this is something you, if you are unfamiliar with Hot Toys, sometimes you got to deal with this. They actually put uh, this little plastic separator here to go between the fabric and the body, and you can see it right there. It is not the easiest thing to get out because this jacket doesn't, I mean, this, you don't want to take this off, so I don't want to do that. So I got to find some kind of creative way to get all that off because honestly, if I just tucked it down there, that would be fine, but then you got all this stuff. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll get back to work. Okay, so I took some of these and tried to pull it through here and then work it through here. 
and I think I might have got it. You want to be, I'm like, you don't want to scratch this stuff right here. That's soft material. You don't want to do that. But I think, I figured I'd show you guys this. This is just the sucky part about this. So I think that did it. Boom. This. What a nightmare. I guess I can put the head back on now. Okay, so the next, I'm going to show you this. This is fun stuff. Um, so this holster is supposed to go right here on these little rings. And again, this is almost as bad as the Boba Fett jetpack. This this sucks. So uh, actual frustration with this one because you got to get these two hook loops, right? They got to go into these two hooks. And uh, these are a little thicker than anyways. They just suck. So I'm I'm having I'm having fun. All right, I'm gonna straight up tell you this is never ever ever coming off. What a flipping nightmare that was. Holy cow. Why didn't they just like make it magnetic or something or something like that? I don't know. That was really annoying. All right, now that we've got that figured out, we can actually look at uh, the accessories or I guess the lack of accessories this figure comes with. Cause it honestly doesn't come with a whole lot. We've got a, we've got a base, uh, which is nice. I, I dig the purple and the orange and you know, the Avengers in game logo. It's got nice the Avengers and the guardians. I kind of dig this. Uh, obviously this is something we're going to be getting. We saw it with the Mark 85 and uh, we get Nebula in the front, you know, not gonna spend a lot of time on that, but it, it's, it's nice looking the hands. Uh, so these uh, robot hands, Android hands, whatever you want to call them. Uh, these are, um, these are a hard plastic. Like normally we get like the vinylish type material uh, with the other hands, but these are actually fairly nicely done. These are definitely uh, a harder plastic, but there is some detail. They could have just, I suppose, made these just one solid color, but they absolutely did not do that. We've got some red, we've got some blues, we've got some nice detail going on here. And uh, they look nice. These are gonna be for holding uh, the staff weapon. And these things, they look pretty nice. And then we've got a more of a, a relaxed hand right here. And you can see more of the detail uh, on the paint apps of this. So it's definitely not a solid color. Got some nice uh, nice detail going on those. And then we get some other hands. So we've got a fisted hand on the figure on the right and a fisted hand on the left. Uh, and then we've got these guys right here, which are blue uh, for a right hand. So we've got, again, a relaxed hand. We've got another weapon holding hand. And we've got a blaster pistol holding hand right here with this nice detail that's going to match the uh, rest of the Ravager suit, uh, which is pretty nice. And I like these little buckles they've got at, at the wrist. Like they didn't, they didn't have to go through all that, but that's pretty nice that they did. So we've got some hands. Then we've got our, uh, our weapon here, which does extend. Well, technically doesn't actually extend, but they give us some different variants of it. Um, this is nicely painted as well. I mean, this is cool. This actually pegs, or I guess does peg, goes in the back here. I will probably have her displayed with the weapons and hands, so it wouldn't make sense to have that go there, but it does go right there on the figure. And then we do have uh, a couple of these guys right here, which are pretty cool. The, you can put these little laser lightning rod effect things on there. I, you guys know my thoughts on these. These look too much like a toy, so I really don't typically use these things. Uh, but this is nicely done. We can do get uh, two of them that she can uh, beat up some, you know, uh, CGI armies with. So that's pretty nice. And then we get this blaster, which is probably the most detailed piece out of all of it, other than the actual, you know, figure, which we'll take a look at in a second. But some nice, like, heat weathering going on here. Nice, like, carbon fiber grip. Looks like carbon fiber, even though it's probably not. It's probably some other kind of space weird stuff going on uh, that Thanos had laying around. Uh, but it's actually nice. Got some gold, and this is this is actually pretty well done. I love the bluing going on. It's it's a beautiful piece. So that's cool. Uh, but you look at the figure now that we've uh, gotten through this debacle down here, and then the plastic bits and all that stuff off of it. Um, just first impressions. It's quite beautiful. It is quite beautiful. The one thing I didn't notice, like when I first took it out uh, and then getting all that plastic bits off, the proportions look a little weird. Maybe around this section, like the, the thighs look a little large. I don't know. I, you know, just it's probably part of uh, you know, being an action figure form, but the proportions look a little weird. Does that look like long here and then long here and then you got the thighs? And I imagine that's part of the actual figure I don't know, but uh, to me it looks that way. I don't know if it looks that way to you. I don't know, proportions look a little weird, but you know, I think this is the only Nebula we're ever gonna get. 
So, you know, I'm, I'm not terribly upset about it. But this portrait, holy crap, this thing is beautiful. I wish it would have came out with the swap out piece uh, that she had in the uh, end game with the orange. Yeah, that's right. It's this piece right here. Like it was, she swapped it out of the arms and when she went to go, you know, be the traitor and be the spy. Um, but we don't have that. We do have this particular uh, portrait. And it's, guys, it's on point. This is, um, this is up there with uh, one of the best portraits they've ever done. And I know they do a really, really good job at like alien style, you know, portraits. But this is next level amazing. I love this little weathering they've got going on, like the, the metallic bits. The colors look 100% spot on to me as far as from the film. And I love that they carry the paint apps all the way through down the neck. Now, I don't know how that's going to translate when we go to posing. Like, we've got to turn her head this way. Like, that's a little unsightly because it just is what it is. It's part of uh, the what you give up when you go into an action figure form. Um, but we do have a ball joint. Plenty of movement here. 360. Nothing crazy. The Ravager suit looks just as detailed as we saw with Yondu, as we saw with Star-Lord, and it's beautiful. I really have no complaints about the Revenge Shoot whatsoever. It is absolutely gorgeous, as we've seen in previous uh, figures. But the details going on here, the stitching, the layer upon layer of detail is just on point. Love the little Ravager uh, deal we got going on down here, uh, Guardians and whatnot. And then, um, I mean, just look at the detail on the gauntlets, the back of it. I mean, this is beautiful. You you don't really expect this kind of detail and it's in a toy, an action figure, but Hot Toys just nails it out of the park. Uh, having had Yondu, Star-Lord, those figures, I, I don't think we're gonna have any issues with this particular suit. I didn't have any with mine, uh, as far as it chipping, fading, flaking, or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but my, I do have my collection in a climate control room and, and we don't have any humid you know, conditions, anything like that. But uh, this right here, I, I think, Honestly, will hold up um, pretty well. On the on the arm here, since we were able to get all that plastic bits out, we do have this arm. It comes fairly straight, which is a little weird, but I guess it is what it is. Um, but the detail here is nice. It's like a gunmetal type gray. Uh, there's not, I mean, there's some weathering going on here, but it's fairly uniformed, monochrome as far as paint gas. And we do have some like red and blue wires going on down here, which connect to the hand and uh, they look pretty nice. As far as the articulation, that's pretty good. That's pretty, I mean, it's unrealistic, but I mean, I guess for her, it's probably not. Um, but you can do pretty much whatever you want because there's no fabric to hold you up. Uh, it's not ratcheted. I think that would have been cool to have a little ratcheted action, but it's a stiff enough joint. I don't really think that's gonna be a problem. Uh, joint wise, what I totally expected, single jointed elbow. You guys know how much I hate those, uh, but we're just gonna sacrifice that for this particular figure. Posing it's gonna be interesting. I really don't like those, but it is what it is. We saw this with Bucky, uh, Winter Soldier, the first version. We saw it with the second version, the third version. And anytime you get these metallic type arms, you're gonna get a single joint. I imagine if they gave us a double joint, it would look strange. But honestly, I would rather have the double joint. I'd rather have the mobility, but I know some people would rather have the aesthetics. So, you know, that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll let that go for now. This joint, let's hope we get a double joint on this one, do we? Oh yeah, we're gonna get a double joint on this one. So we got it bend there, we got it bend there, and you can see like that. So at least we got a double joint on one of them. Maybe we can work that into the posing somehow. Uh, we'll figure that out. This right here was a complete nightmare, as you guys saw. These little rings are just, I had to be patient and get them in there, and that kind of sucks. What I found worked, I actually had it upside down and let gravity work with me. And after about 15 minutes of messing with that, I was able to make it happen. So this blaster actually just, let's get right here, just goes right in here. And uh, here we go. Let's see if I can do this without going. There we go. Looks pretty good, I say. I don't know if it's supposed to go any, yeah, I'll probably go a little deeper than that. Um, that looks solid. And honestly, having that on the, on the hip, it gives a little contrast from all the red. So I kind of dig that. Uh, hers are gauntlets here with her hands looking nice with the buckles and stuff going along like we see with the other hands we got it kind of continues on so that's beautiful and then look at all these little buckles and just the design work uh, that Marvel came into this character um, with this thigh holster going on it's it's gorgeous it is absolutely gorgeous love it love it love it love it um, so 
let's see what we got here this joint let's see what we're gonna get what are we gonna do here we're gonna get okay the foot's bent a little weird that's okay we're gonna get a double joint out of this thing oh yeah we're gonna get a double joint it's gonna bag up right there uh and or bunch up um yeah i think we got a bend here we got a bend here i think we worked that a little bit uh, we can actually get some pretty good range of motion out of it, but we want to be careful not to pinch all that stuff because we definitely don't want to cause damage while we're posing this figure. So we want to be mindful of that. Uh, as far as articulation out, you know, splits wise, you want to be careful not to split the pants and going forward. I'm not expecting a whole lot of range of motion, but I'm actually getting more than I, yeah, I didn't expect that much range of motion actually with this suit. So it's, it's fairly pliable. That's nice. That's nice. I, I didn't expect that. I expected a pretty limited range of motion. Uh, the boots are beautiful. I wish they were split cut, but they're not. So that's going to be fun. And then I can already tell you posing this thing with these tiny heels and pretty much no tread whatsoever. That's super slick. This is going to be a tricky one to pose. Uh, we, I saw it with the 40th anniversary Vader. We had the super slick uh, feet. And he likes to slide on the diorama base, which kind of sucks. And I have a feeling with this one as well, uh, especially with the heels, that's going to be like, we're not going to get any. Yeah, this is going to be fun. So just, you know, first impression, this thing's absolutely beautiful. This is where the money's at right there. That is straight off screen. There is no apologies to be made for this portrait. The tailoring is beautiful. The arms beautiful. The accessories are pretty much all you would really expect to get with a, a Nebula figure. And it's Nebula because th I think this is the only Nebula we're gonna get. So if you wanna pick up one of these, I'll put a link down below. You can pick one up. Actually, Pop Collectibles has a ridiculous deal on this figure right now. Uh, it's actually less than you can get it from Sideshow. And that's just crazy. Shipped, so it's, it's insane. Uh, so you can check that out. If you'd rather get it from Sideshow, I'll put a link down below for that. And um, this, Woo, time to pose it. Let's do it. Kick it off with the first pose. We wanted something museum-like, something simple. We don't have to worry about bending crazy elbows, bending crazy knees, and uh, really damaging anything. But I'll be honest with you, the feet, as I predicted, the feet are a complete nightmare to actually get to stand up. You can see right there, that's what we got going on. And um, they are, they're super, super difficult to, uh, honestly, to balance. It's, it's a difficult figure to balance. I don't typically use display stands in my display case, but with this figure, I am absolutely going to use a display case, uh, display stand because these feet, uh, I don't know if anybody has the Deadpool 2 figure with like the high heels. That thing's complete. I'm going to use those things. But these feet are so tiny. It just doesn't make, a, it just doesn't work. There really should be some kind of, pattern or tread or something going on but there we go uh, regardless of that we do have a, a pretty nice uh, figure to deal with here's our pose we've just got those staffs going backwards and uh, there we go the portrait is absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and I'm a big fan of it uh, just right of the bat I, the bat I, I really do uh, I really do like the figure uh, and you know, some figures I gotta find flaws with. This one's definitely got some flaws. The feet is one flaw. Uh, the the holster is another flaw. But to be honest, I mean that's once you get it on there, it's not that big a deal. Um, but there we are. This this simple pose. I'm blown away by the portrait. I gotta be 100% honest with you guys. Uh, I am gonna do some more dynamic poses. We'll add some more characters in the display case in, um, in just a second. But uh, I wanted to give you guys an idea of what you could do without a stand, something museum-like that you don't have to worry about. But uh, again, I don't trust it. Uh, I'm absolutely going to be using uh, a display stand when it goes on the permanent display. So let's go ahead and uh, get another one up. All right, so as much as I don't like using display stands, you kind of need one for this figure. So I went ahead and got her in a simple walking pose, looking down the blaster, and uh, just want to keep it simple. Because this figure is as awesome as the... Uh, the tailoring is it definitely is not the most fun figure to pose and uh, you know that's okay I guess I, I guess it's okay I mean it's not awesome but it's okay and I wanted before I released my top 10 of 2020 I really wanted to uh, go ahead and get this thing out of the box uh, versus waiting to make that uh, list because honestly I, I wasn't sure if this figure was gonna make it and as of the recording this I'm still not sure if it's gonna make it I have no idea 
But the tailoring, it's just, it's a beautiful figure. It's not a Spider-Man figure. It's not gonna jump up and down. It's not gonna do crazy poses, anything like that. But that's flipping gorgeous. It just, that, look at, I mean, just come on. That is freaking beautiful, man. I'm just enjoying, I'm just enjoying it spinning around. I hope you guys are too. Uh, we can take a look at the pose if you guys want. Let me zoom out just a touch here. And you can see what I've got going on here. It's just definitely supported by the uh, the cradle. And I've got that right foot back a little bit off uh, the toes, if you will, for as much as it'll actually do. And then I've got the front foot, uh, front foot going forward. And then I've got a little arm and I decided to change out the hand on the robot hand. You just gotta, you know, open uh, relaxed hand, if you will. And she's just looking down the blaster. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's fun. It's a fun figure. It's a beautiful figure. And uh, if you guys can let me know what you think about the poses, uh, but the portrait is unmistakably Nebula. I thought it'd be a fun treat to throw the Mark 85 back up here with the Infinity Gauntlet, looking amazing. Uh, because honestly, this is the only other in-game figure I currently have in the collection. So. Yeah, I'm slacking. What can I tell you? But <laughs> I went ahead and threw, I threw them up here anyway. If you want to see the unboxing and review my thoughts on the Mark 85, check out the video. I'll put a link above. Uh, but here we go with the Mark 85, which was just released last week uh, with uh, Nebula looking amazing. Look at these guys. Oh boy. I got to say guys, Nebula. I, so I did change up the pose uh, just a bit. I wanted to limit the range of motion on the fabric. So I did, uh, again, break out the display stand. I got that right leg pretty straight. Uh, I've got a right arm pretty straight. And then I've got her actually stepping up onto the display base. But there, there's uh, there's the Mark 85 for you guys. Look at that thing. Come on now. That might be my favorite Iron Man to date, guys. And you know how much I love uh, the Mark 46 concept art version. But there's Nebula right there. Uh, changed out the left arm, the robotic arm to the fist and uh, left the uh, the blaster in the other hand. So I think that's not bad for a figure that honestly doesn't really have a ton of motion without really stretching the suit and uh, having any issues with it, but I think it's beautiful. So the, the, here's the question um, that everybody's gonna ask. Should I buy this? Should I get uh, Nebula? Should I buy something else? So uh, initial thoughts, initial thoughts. If you go purely on aesthetics, it's gorgeous. It's a home run, 10 out of 10 portrait, 10 out of 10 tailoring, 10 out of 10, just uh, is it Nebula? The answer is absolutely yes. Uh, if you are somebody like me who likes the poser figures and likes more range of motion and movement, uh, then it's, 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 I would pass, I would pass. Um, so, but just based on aesthetics, good God, that's beautiful. Whew. You know, it's, it's a, it's an interesting piece. Um, it's one of those pieces like Yondu that a lot of people slept on. Uh, until of course guardians <laughs> until the you know it sold out and went crazy in price um if you think you are let's put it this way i i have i'm struggling with this one i gotta be honest with you because i want to give you guys like the straight up thoughts i want to give you like the the best advice i possibly can uh and i don't want to be that guy who just tells you to buy everything because that's just not feasible and doesn't make sense for most people so um if there's something else that's you're more attached to figure wise. If, uh, for example, let's say the Mark 85 Iron Man, if I had to choose between these two, I'd get the Iron Man. That would, that would be my choice if I had one or the other. Um, I do plan on getting Nebula and Star Lord and rocking all those guys that can, you know, put that set together, just more in game figures for, for the uh, collection. But it's not, a, it's not a must have figure for me. Um, it, if you've got some disposable income and you want to spend 250 bucks and buy it, more power to you. I think it's beautiful. But, I think you would be better off buying something else that you're more attached to if you're not a huge Nebula fan, Marvel fan, Endgame fan. Uh, I really don't think, if you think you're going to want this figure in the, in the future, I don't think we're going to get another Nebula. I really don't. I think this is going to be our one and done Nebula. Um, you know, I, I just, I can see that happening. Uh, look how long it took for us to get the second version of Gamora, which is crazy. But uh, it is what it is. That's my thoughts on it, guys. Um, and like I said, you know, not every figure is amazing. Not every figure is like you must have, and it's the greatest thing, God's gift to collecting. But aesthetic-wise, 10 out of 10, 
beautiful figure. Uh, I can put it that way. Um, but that Mark 85, holy crap. You guys that are passing on to 85, you are crazy. That, that's just gorgeous. You, you really should go check out the review and unboxing of that video if you haven't checked that out. Um, but Nebula, I would say, again, if you're a Marvel fan and you have the means, I'd buy it because I don't think they're going to make another one. If um, you have your eye on something else, buy that. So that's what I got. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Hope you liked it. I've got more content coming. Death Trooper finally showed up. Uh, Heavy Mando is coming next week. Uh, Iron Man PS4 with the Mark IV armor. That's coming next week. And some other stuff that I can't even tell you about just yet. So subscribe if you haven't already. It's a great place to do. Uh, and uh, join the Facebook group. Link down below. If you want Nebula, I Pop Collectibles has it for a ridiculous deal right now. Shipped within probably the week of I'm recording this uh, until they sell out. It is unbelievable. If you want the Mark 85, I'm pretty sure they got a couple of those as well with the original Tony Stark portrait, not the one that you're going to have to wait on quarter three of 2021 to get. So, yeah, I mean, just it's gorgeous. So I'm going to tell you. Um, I'll give you one more look at Nebula before we break out of here and you can make your own decision. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comment section down below if. This is something you have to have. Is this something you're going to add to the collection? Or is this one you're going to pass on? All right, for those of you who stuck around to the end of the video, I actually did find some in-game figures, so I forgot I had Ronin, and uh, there we go. But I wanted to have some fun. I figured I'd just break out a few figures to display. We got Nebula, we got Ronin, we got Mark 85. We got, well, in my what-if scenario, because your display can be whatever the hell you want it to be, I, I decided to add some characters that weren't necessarily in the film. But uh, we've got Logan who is, uh, you know, honestly like a stormtrooper right there because of that base. We got Deadpool season two X-Men trainee with the unicorn. And then we've got Rocket down below uh, stealing the Hulkbuster arm because honestly, that's Rocket. I got so many comments on that pose for my uh, collection video. Uh, so I appreciate it guys. I'm, I'm uh, happy you guys liked that pose. And uh, if you haven't seen the collection video, uh, go check it out because it was a lot of fun. But there's Nebula again, spinning around. Gorgeous figure, Mark 85. Gorgeous figure. I cannot get over how awesome that Mark 85 is. Man, that's good. And then this uh, logo, I think, I bought this at a, at a con, uh, and I think it's the So So Toys Logan. Not 100% sure to be quite honest with you, because I don't think I kept a box, but it's pretty cool. With some metal claws. And then we, of course we got Deadpool from Deadpool 2, X-Men trainee. Looking awesome. So uh, for all you guys who stick around to the end of the videos, I appreciate you guys. Uh, remember on your way out to uh, hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, what the heck are you waiting on? You watch this entire video, hit the button. Now's a good time to do it. As always, collect what you like. See you next time. <laughs>